One, I'm here with Senator John Tester this morning, stopping in here at the studio for your busy day. We just had kind of a, a laugh. There was a commercial on, and we were just mentioning you never know if it's going to be a good commercial or a bad commercial, but it took it by surprise. So that's exactly right. Yeah. It's uh, it's getting to be that season, I guess. So, <laughs> it is. Uh, it is. All right. So you sound like you've been pretty busy over the yeah. past couple of months. Um, do you want to share, folks, what kind of progress we've well, made? Well, we've we've uh, been able to get some really good work done on the Veterans Affairs Committee back in Washington D.C. And that's kind of unusual in the climate that's back there right now, where not a, not a lot's getting done. But we've been able to move forth with some bills um, on accountability, being able to move the people in the VA that aren't doing their job out instead of reassigning them, which sounds pretty simple. But the truth is, is that uh, there's not a lot of them, but there's a few folks that need to, you know, be pushed out of the VA because, mm -hmm. uh, quite frankly, our veterans deserve the best of the best when they're getting their health care. And then we've, we've, we've got a bill passed that deals with the appeals process. There's some 470,000 veterans out there that mm -hmm. are waiting in line for their disability. Uh, we're going to be able to cut that down. It's years now. Hopefully cut it down to less than a year, maybe just a few months. Uh, we've, we've, got a, we've got a bill out there that, uh, uh, that, that deals with... Uh, 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 naming of which is less important but very important because one of them is Ben Steele here from in town naming with uh, naming different kinds of uh, facilities around the country uh, and we've we've got a bill that is going to help start the process of fixing the choice program which for the veterans out there uh, they know that the choice program has been a colossal wreck and uh, hopefully we can get it so it becomes functional again and build some capacity within the VA and let the choice program do what it does but the bottom line is We've been able to work in a very bar bipartisan way mm -hmm. to get things done. Democrats and Republicans coming together on this committee, doing right by our veterans in this country. And it really should be an example for, uh, for the rest of the Senate uh, because it's the, way the rest of the, it's the way we should be operating every day. Put the politics aside, get things done for the benefit of the people, and move the country forward. Right, and I want to ask you, bring this up, um, lots of stuff happening in Charlottesville, yeah. Virginia lately, mm -hmm. um, comments being made right now. Um, share your thoughts with us. We've heard from, you know, other senators, but I w I'm yeah. curious what, what your thoughts well, are. Well, I think it's what's happening in Charlottesville is, 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 is totally unfortunate and, and, and uh, should not be tolerated. I mean, this kind of hatred doesn't, uh, doesn't benefit anybody, and we should not be tolerating it whatsoever. And, um, and we, we need to put our foot down. Uh, you know, we, we almost had a situation like this arise up in Whitefish around Christmas time. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's totally unacceptable and uh, uh, should not be tolerated by elected officials or anybody else, by the way. Uh, it's just uh, it's taken a step back to the past, and I don't think it's a place we want to go. All right. Well, thank you for sharing your thoughts on that. And uh, part of your busy schedule, you'll you'll be out in public today. Where can folks catch you if they wanted to uh, meet up with you? Yeah, we're going to be meeting with some business folks. We're going to be going uh, looking at the the interagency fire center. Uh, it's been an incredible fire season, and getting folks to be able to work together, which is what they do with local resources, very very important. We're going to be visiting with the the tower up the folks in the tower up at the, the airport. So we've got a busy schedule here in Billings uh, as always, and. Uh, uh, and uh, we'll be here all day long uh, around the town visiting with folks and uh, different businesses and the like. All right. Well, thank you for taking time out of your schedule to stop here with us this morning. Great we to be really here. We really do appreciate Thanks, it. Victoria. Stick around. Ed has the weather. So let's hear what he uh, has right. to say for your neck of the woods. <laughs>